A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Good morning, fellow mathematicians! Welcome back to our video! We are going to do another improvised session today. It's something I found on Twitter, it was, and I think Stephen Strogat, uh, Stephen Strogat's the Nonlinear Dynamics and Chaos Theory Boy, pretty good book, um, shared it around, um, retweeted it, it's called retweeting. How should I know how Twitter works? I only have a very nice, nicely working um, <laughs> Twitter account going on. We are going to take a look at an infinite series today. And looks the following. There's a very nice pattern behind it. Um, it's 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 to the third power plus 1 over 2 to the fourth power, blah blah blah, up until infinity. But it doesn't end there because it continues. Now imagine we start off with a 2. Now we are going to go ahead and say 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 cubed plus 1 over 3 to the fourth power, blah blah blah. Goes on up until infinity. But it doesn't end there, obviously. Now we are going to get hmm, 1 over 4 squared plus 1 over 4 cubed plus blah 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 up until infinity. Okay, what is going to come next? Well, obviously 1 over 5 squared plus 1 over 5 cubed blah 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 up until infinity. And this pattern will continue up until infinity. So we can extend our dot dot dots infinitely many times and we are going to get an infinite series out. And this is what we are going to calculate today. And I think I'm pretty certain I got an idea what I want to do and I'm certain that I can solve it here on this improvised session. But before we actually get into the main video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, The Reach, for sponsoring yet another video here on this channel. And this wallet right here is probably the last one you're ever going to need. I've never seen such a durable, long-lasting wallet in my lifetime. It's extremely durable. If you're like me, then the rich wallet is definitely going to change your whole pocket situation in no time at all. I basically got rid of my old wallet because the rich is extremely sleek. It looks extremely good if you look at the design right here. That's the carbon fibered rich wallet. It just looks absolutely amazing. And it's extremely sleek. It can hold up to 12 credit cards and other cards, for example, this one right here from S. Oliver. And it really fits into your pocket nicely. It doesn't leave a bulge in your pants, like I like to say. And also you can keep all your cash on the back side. You can either get it with a money clip or with this string part that I'm having here. And overall the Rich Wallet is something that I'm really satisfied with. I've been using it for the past few weeks and I don't have any negative points to say about it. Like I said, I got rid of my old wallet because um, I have no use for it anymore because everything that I need fits into here. Even better, I don't have any weird receipts um, running around with me all the time by now and, and that's just an absolute plus. This thing right here is totally ordered like the natural numbers and it's good that way. And the very best thing is that I can actually keep my 5 million dollars that I earn per day as a pure mathematician somewhere here with my 27 credit cards so that's a big plus. If you're still not convinced that the Rich Wallet could be something for you, then make sure to check out the over 30k 5-star reviews that they received all over the place. Amazon, their website, etc. And also, they promise you that that thing is never going to break. So if you have any negative reviews to give this thing, then give your Rich Wallet back and they will get you a new one. It's not going to break, trust me, you get a lifetime warranty on this thing. If you want to try it out, then make sure to check out the 10% link down there at the top of the description, rich.com slash papaflemmy, yes, that papaflemmy in the URL, that's absolutely amazing. Also, you're going to get worldwide free shipping, so that's also pretty cool. Try it out and support the channel this way, and now we are going to dive right in. So, gotta place my rich wallet there. <laughs> So my um, first initial thought, how I should approach this problem, is that we obviously have geometric series going on over here. I mean, 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 cubed plus blah 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 up until infinity is obviously a geometric series in some way and also 1 half is in the radius of convergence. It's between 
0 and 1 strictly between there. So it definitely is in the radius of convergence. And we have the same situation going on with 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 cubed and so on up into infinity. So let me rewrite everything at first and then we are going to see if it works out. I think um, it should work out. I'm not even certain if it converges, but it looks like something that does converge. I think you can probably find a nice geometric proof that all of this fits into some kind of square or um, triangle in some way again. Um, okay, let me rewrite this. This part right here is the sum, infinity boy, where k is greater or equal to um, index starts at 2. I shall not forget this. So starting at 2, it's not completely the geometric series at the moment. Um, 1 half to the kth power. Okay. Then this part right here is obviously the infinity boy, where k is greater or equal to 2 again. I'm going to go with k on all of those. Um, of 1 third to the kth power and then so on. So overall what we are having is definitely some number um, where k is greater or equal to 2 of some 1 over I'm going to go with m here, 1 over m to the kth power. So this is like the mth partial sum that we are going to get in here. Yeah, um, that's, that's basically good I suppose because basically what we are doing is we are summing up over all the m's, over all the partial sums basically. This is what we are doing. So overall what we are doing is we are summing up infinitely many geometric series in some way. So what we have, our whole sum right here is just an infinite series where m is greater or equal to 2 yet again. We are going to start at 2, I mean 1 half, 1 third, 1 quarter etc. So m being greater or equal to 2 of our infinite series where k is greater or equal to 2 of 1 over m to the kth power. Yeah, this is basically our series that we are having. This is like um, a super geometric series. I don't know what to call this, but it's something. Um, okay, double series. Well, I'm wondering, sometimes it works wonders to just interchange the order of integration. You know, infinite series are just integrals overall. Um, really depends. We can try this out at the end, but I think there's going to be an easier way because this right here is basically the geometric series, nearly. Um, all that's missing is to get a geometric series out. I, I mean, it's in the radius of convergence. This does work. It's the zero of term, so one and the first term for each and every m, so 1 over m. So we are going to add and subtract um, 1 from it, so the zero of term, and also we are going to add and subtract the uh, first ordered term from it, so negative 1 over m. <clears throat> okay, so overall this part right here is going to turn into geometric series, but we are going to be left with negative 1 minus 1 over m. Okay, um, this is going to result in an infinity boy where m is greater or equal to 2 of. Okay, geometric series tells us that this is 1 over 1 minus 1 over m. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Negative 1, negative 1 over m. Okay. Um, obviously we are going to turn this around a little bit. I mean expanding this by m over m is going to give us m over m minus 1. Uh, I'm, I'm just thinking, I mean, there are probably several ways to um, kind of bring this together. We could add those two together, leaving us with a negative in front, m plus 1 over m. This looks like a telescoping series, um, so m over m minus 1 minus m plus 1 over m, yeah, this shall work out. Or what we can do is we can expand this by, so this is negative m minus 1 over m minus 1. Um, just trying to get rid of some stuff because if we were to put those two together, this is going to be turned around with the negative sign, leaving us with, um, yeah, <laughs> let's get rid of this. Ah yeah, this is, this is a way better, ge um, not geometric series, a telescoping series, this is a well-known one, leaving us overall with an infinite series where m is greater or equal to 2 of 
1 over m minus 1 minus 1 over m. That's a well-known one because if we were to plug in 2 into here, we are going to get 1 over 1 minus, okay, 2 into there, 1 half. Then 3 into here, 1 over 2, so plus 1 half, minus 1 third, plus 1 third, minus blah, 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 up until infinity, so-called telescoping series. In the limit, it does work out that each and every term is going to cancel out, leaving us with 1 overall. So the geometric series, so this thing right here, the super geometric series, I don't know what to call it, turns out to be one probably. Um, this is probably the solution to this problem. I would like to play around with this a tiny bit further because I have a bunch of ideas how to solve this in different ways. I mean, what we had here was, um, so be, before moving on, we had another version that should still work out as geometric, ugh, not geometric series. Now I did a German thing, ugh. No, um, as a telescoping series, I'm terribly sorry. Um, we had that this was m over m minus 1 minus, and then we had 1 plus 1 over m. And this part right here is going to turn into m plus 1 over m. Leaving us overall, if we were to plug in 2. Eh? This is curious. Um, let me write this out. We are going to have 2 over 2 minus 1 is going to be 2 minus 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 minus 3 into here is going to give us 3 over 2. Um, no, here, here was a negative sign and here a positive sign. A negative 3 into here is 4 over 3 plus 4 over 3. This is contradicting itself. Um, telescoping series, suddenly it's equal to 2. Now I don't know which one the right solution is. Um, did I do something wrong? This is seriously weird. Can someone check in the comments because this is curious. Um, I can just suspect that it does not work out to get a telescoping series out on one of those. I know for a fact that this thing right here is something convergent. Definitely, this is a well-known telescoping series which pops up in anal all the time in analysis one. So I'm pretty certain that one is the solution to this thing, but I do not understand this. Why do we get two out? Is there something weird with the convergence of some telescoping series? I have never seen something like this before. Um, if someone could enlighten me down there in the comments, that would be really good because I do not understand this. Why do we get out two here? This is weird. Okay, um, I would go with one as the solution. I, I, I hope that's correct. This is just confusing the hell out of me. Now I would like to interchange the order of integration up here basically and see if we are going to get something out on the other side, but I don't think so. This doesn't look good. Um, if we were to interchange those, we are going to get a sum where, greater, where k is greater or equal to 2 of the sum where m is greater or equal to 2 of 1 over m to the kth power. Mm. This doesn't work nicely, right? This is... Um, I was just now thinking, I think I have done something like this on the last advent calendar before. Because this right here is nothing but um, the harmonic numbers of the kth degree minus 1. So what we have here is the sum over harmonic numbers. And I have done this before if I remember correctly. Um, but I think it was the harmonic numbers divided by the golden ratio to the kth power. Something like this. It was a very interesting infinite series that we had going on there. But changing the order of integration really doesn't help here. Am I right? No, it's, it's not the harmonic numbers. Um, since we are going to infinity, this is the Riemann zeta function of k minus 1. And 
Yes, for sure, I have made a video on that, definitely. I have made a video on that, summing up the Riemann zeta function. And I think I used the exact same trick of interchanging the order of integration to get to the solution. I think the solution to this thing was actually one. Wow. Great job, Papa Flemmy. Good job. You did do something that you have done before. Never mind. This was still fun. Um, this just means that I still got the right intuition for a problem of this kind, I suppose. Even after a while not doing an infinite series of that kind. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment channel effect. Don't forget, <laughs> that was a weird conclusion. Weirdest improvised session I, I had yet. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out The Reach. Um, honestly, they do a really good job. And this is the weirdest material ever. It just has such a weird sound to it. It, it just sounds like plastic in some way, but, but it's this carbon fiber and it's so durable. I could smash it against the wall at full speed and it wouldn't hurt the thing. Probably all that would be hurt would be like this um, rubber type that we have in here, but, but that's all. Um, yeah, other than that, check out STEM merch if you haven't done so already. We got some very nice fractals going on over there. I'm going to receive some other fractals that I have designed pretty soon, so I'm quite excited about that. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Check out Flamble Maps too, and up until the next video, I wish you guys a flamble day. Ciao! <laughs>